Hi, Bigger Place. Hey, Jefferson. I wore my um, <coughs> superhero shirt for Monday, um, representing all of our, we're doing superheroes for our grocery workers, oh, our cool. EMTs, our hospital workers, all those people who are out saving lives right now. Awesome. And Thor is my favorite <coughs> superhero. I'm representing Augusta University because we just started back classes today, so. Yeah, awesome. online classes. Online, yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we're going to start with a composer. So Dr. Johnson's going to tell you about a composer, a new composer. We did talk about Rachmaninoff from Russia, and now we're going to go to one of the most famous composers yes. ever. So we're going to talk a little bit about Ludwig von Beethoven. If I can get a, there we go, a shot without the glare. So Beethoven uh, was born in Germany, lived in Germany, um, and worked in Vienna, Austria, for most of his life. Um, <clears throat> he was born in 1770, died in 1827. So if you're um, doing the math, it sounds like 57 years, but he actually died before his birthday. Right, he didn't quite make it to 57. Um, and he's interesting because he, uh, well, he was kind of a bridge between two different musical styles. He uh, lived mostly through the classical period, and but a lot of people consider him to be more of a romantic composer because of the kind of music that he wrote. Wait, wait, wait. Does romantic <clears throat> mean like lovey-dovey, hugs and kisses? No, that's just okay. romantic is just the, the name that they gave that period of classical music between 1820 and about 1900. And we talk about how the romantic style was very <clears throat> emotional. Yes. That's, you know, rom romance is a, like, type of emotion. Right. And the romantic time period was all about expressing your emotions through music. And right. so a lot of times it was louder, bigger. Yeah. They expanded the orchestra and operas to be huge and, mm -hmm. and really, really long um, time. Like, uh, orchestras probably went from, what, 30, 40 minutes 30, 40, to... We, right, but they were about 30 minutes, and um, at the height of the Romantic era, they were, you know, over an hour long, you know, between an hour and two hours, give or take. It's a long time. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Um, but anyway, Beethoven was the first to do that, to really put a lot of emotion in his music. Um, his music was very loud. He started using more instruments in the orchestra, now, <clears throat> the most interesting thing about Beethoven was that he uh, ended up going deaf. He lost his hearing during his life. Um, pretty, and he started losing it pretty early, like around age 30, right? He was like 27, right. but close enough, around yeah. 30. And, <clears throat> and he went through, you know, some stuff with that, but he kept writing music. Um, so wait, how do you write music if you can't hear music? Well, you know... He was a prodigy, so I mean, he was super smart, he was a genius, so he already kind of knew how things sounded and how things worked in his head. He played the piano very well, so I mean, he could play piano without hearing it and just to kind of figure stuff out. But <clears throat> he, um, in order for him to hear the music, he uh, ended up cutting the legs off of a piano and putting it on the ground and he would end up banging things out on the piano really hard so that you could feel the the vibrations of the music did we talk about vibrations last <clears throat> video we <clears throat> talked <throat> about the instruments of the orchestra and the four families string percussion woodwind and brass and we talked about how you classify the instruments by how they vibrate because yep. all sound is vibrations exactly. so when beethoven uh would set the instruments on the <coughs> or set the piano on the ground mm -hmm. then he could feel those vibrations of the music mm -hmm. yep um now jefferson you guys are going to be listening to a movement from beethoven's seventh symphony oh, that's my favorite <clears throat> yeah it's one of my favorites too um and during, uh, when he wrote that symphony, he was, pra he was pretty much totally deaf at the time. Um, but he uh, only ended up writing nine total. And Beethoven kind of started the curse of the ninth symphony because he passed away after completing his ninth and a lot of other composers after him um, passed away after completing their ninth symphony. And some tried to fool yes. fate <clears throat> yeah. and call a symphony by a different name to right. say, just so that they wouldn't have nine symphonies, but it True. didn't work. Yeah, it still died work. after nine symphonies. Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. So anyway, that's enough uh, about Beethoven. Um, we'll talk more about him. Yeah, right. We will. 
So today we're going to talk about something extremely important for composers, and that is rhythm. It's important when you read music and when you write music. So we're going to start with basics today for our young kids, our pre-K, Ks, and ones, and then we'll make it a little more challenging at the end for our two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna real quick review, if you have a time signature, I don't know if you can see it, it says four, four <laughs> time and four, four time. So that would mean that you would have four beats in a row or in a measure before mm -hmm. you started a new measure. So you can see here how I have one measure of music because it's four quarter notes. Quarter note gets one beat each. And then down here, I still have four, four time, but how many notes do I have in this measure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold up. I thought mm -hmm. that you could only have four, four notes in a measure. But that's that not true. It's not notes. <clears throat> it's beats. beats. It's all about the beat. So these are pairs of eighth notes. And so they get uh, one beat together. So half a beat each. So if I were to mm -hmm. separate them, if I didn't have them connected at the top, you would just see eight notes all by themselves. Right and they get half a beat each, but together they get the one. Mm -hmm. So where there's eight notes here, they still only have four beats. So I'm not sure about Jefferson. Now listen, kids, <coughs> music teachers all teach music a little differently. So yeah. at Baker Place, we say ta's for quarter notes and tt's for eighth notes. You yeah, guys do we, that too? We do the same thing. Okay, good, we're still on the same page. <laughs> it, might, it might veer off later. <laughs> so in this case, we would say ta, 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 T, 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 T. So the T's are twice as fast as the Ta's. So if you keep a steady beat, Ta, 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 T, 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 T. So we thought um, that you guys were so smart, though, that we could start mixing them up mm -hmm. and maybe coming up with some different patterns. So I'm going to erase this. And we're going to try a different pattern. And we're going to try to trick you guys and make this really, really hard. So let's see if you can do it. Let's try combining the ta and then a tt. Oh, sorry. It's getting a little sloppy. All right, can you guys try this one with us? Let's right. see what that steady beat is. In fact, if you could keep a steady beat on your knee, that'd be great. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Now, can we clap that rhythm? So here we kept our steady beat. Let's try keeping a, uh, or let's try clapping the rhythm of this. So let's try, well, that's it. Ready? No. Oh, you're gonna, okay, yeah. thank you. Ready? Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Good job. So let's see if I can make it a little harder for you because, you know, you guys are so smart. Oh, yeah. So let's try making it a little more difficult. Let's put this and then this. And remember, I'm only doing four beats. So one beat, two, three, and four. Because it's not just about the notes, it's about the beats. So let's try this one really quickly. Let's keep a steady beat first. Ready, go. T, 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 ta, T, T, ta. Now let's clap that rhythm. Ready, go. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Good job. It helped if I got my hands out of it. Now we thought um, that you guys, oh, thank you. You erase that and I'll erase this and I'll get it done faster. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, I'll let you finish. Right. So we thought um, a project for your families, for you and your families, might be to come up with some words to go with our TTs and tops. So we came up with a couple of silly things um, inspired by Facebook posts. Thank you, Facebook. Um, and so I thought we would try some silly things. So uh, this one is going to have two measures. And here is the rhythm. It's ta, ta, ti, 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 ti. And then the next measure, still four beats, I'm gonna throw in something new. It's kind of hard to fill it in <laughs> with a small marker. Ooh, look at this new thing. That mm -hmm. new thing is called a quarter rest. Now I'm not sure how you do it at Jefferson, but in Ms. Johnson's class, we go like this for one beat. What do you guys do? 
Um, you, well, sometimes, you know, for the lower grades, we'll call it a silent. Um, we normally will go um, shh, or um, if we're clapping, we'll, we'll kind of do our hands apart like that. Yeah. And we'll and say we, shh or, or wrist. We try to say, we try to <clears throat> just be silent because it's the silent thing. So we go, now we don't go <clears throat> or <clears throat> or <clears throat> we just go for a silent. So let's try just the rhythm, and then I'm going to put the silly words that we came up with, okay? Are you ready? Uh, let's do a beat first. Ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, 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 ti. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, now let's do the actual rhythm of the words with our clapping hands. Are you ready? Ready, clap. Ta, ta, ti, 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 ti. Ta, ta, ta. So here's what we came up with for our silly words to go with our rhythm. We came up with, I'm going to turn it a little mm -hmm. bit so you can't see it yet. It's a surprise. <laughs> now remember, it's all about, I hope I'm splitting these syllables right. I don't think I split, where's the eraser? <laughs> I'm separating my syllables for my TTs. So that each syllable still has one note because every syllable needs to just have one note. So if I have a one syllable word, most likely it's going to be a ta. And if it's a two syllable word, you would use a tt. Right. So here is mm -hmm. our funnier. <laughs> humorous, if you will, rhythm. I think yeah, I'm going to use, yeah, let's slide a little closer. All right, so here mm -hmm. is ours. It says, I need toilet paper. Please send help. <laughs> so can you clap that with us really quick? Ready? You, you do the clapping, yeah, I'll, I'll do the pointing. Ready? Go. I need toilet paper. Please send help. Which we almost do. We're about to run out. <clears throat> okay, the next one, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, we have uh, um, a little bit more difficult for our upper grade. So I'm going to turn it around so you can't see it yet. <clears throat> I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase this. Now, um, when we started something called half notes, which are two beats, but only still one syllable, it's like you're stretching out the word. Mm -hmm. We talk about, I know this is something Dr. Johnson and I really like, we talk about soccer. Yep, we do. We love soccer. Mm -hmm. Especially what they call it in England, they call it football. football. <laughs> which is not the same thing as our football. It's soccer. They call it football. And that was our favorite. And so when we do a half note, which I'm going to show you real quick before I do our rhythm. Half notes are worth two beats. And look, they look like Todd's, but they're not colored in. So this is two beats and two beats. Mm -hmm. Two plus two equals four. Four. That's how many beats we need, four, four. So we need those four beats. So two plus two gives us our full measure. Mm -hmm. But we talk about how when um, soccer people, they don't say goal. Yeah. They go, goal! Yeah. And they get really excited every time somebody says goal. Mm -hmm. So here we're like, goal, goal, mm -hmm. which is a one syllable word, but I stretched yeah. it over stretched two it beats. <clears throat> I stretched it out. So I'm going to use that this time. With my rhythm, I'm going to turn around so you can't see it again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, for those of you at Jefferson um, that we've talked about half notes, you know, usually we would say ta, holding out that ta syllable. And then also whenever we clap it, we go ta, like holding our hands together because we're holding out that note a little bit longer. That's true. But mm -hmm. we say toe. Like yeah. the thing on your foot. We say toe yeah. at bigger place. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's still the same thing. Right. Everybody does things differently. There are so many different um, syllables that people use. So this time I'm going to use a three syllable word. And I'm going to split it up <laughs> over. Whoops. I'm going to split it up over three notes because it's a three syllable word. So. I'm going to use the word family, but I'm splitting it up over three notes because it has how many syllables? Three syllables. Family has three syllables, so I have to use three notes. 
Remember, one note equals one syllable. <clears throat> All right, so if you are having a whole lot of family time like we are, sometimes it gets to be a little much. Maybe you just need a little alone time. <laughs> so I said, help me too much family. <laughs> I mean, I love my family, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need a little break. So here I stretch these notes out to cover two beats. And then each of these one syllable words down here got one quarter note. And then I split up my word family into three different notes. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, I'll keep the beat okay. and you clap <clears throat> the rhythm. Are you right. ready? That's fine. One, two, ready, go. Help me too much family. Good job. <laughs> so I, we, uh, we would like to see some of your creative ideas. If you're mm -hmm. younger, maybe uh, pre-K, K and one, if you would just stick to our TTs and our TAs. And if you're in our older group, if you would like to add in the, the quarter rest mm -hmm. for one beat of silence, or if you want to use our half notes, toes or ta-as, if you're a Jefferson, then we would love to see some of your really creative musical sentences that mm -hmm. you come up with. Now, don't make it too difficult on yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't go wild and crazy. Remember, one note gets one syllable. Right. If you want to stretch it out and make it longer, you're going to use those half notes. If you want to make them shorter, you're going to use the TTs. Mm -hmm. but make sure every syllable only gets one note. It's very, very, very important. Yeah. Right. And we would just like to see your creative things. Yeah. So if you're at Baker Place, if you will email me pictures of what your family came up with for your musical sentences, mm -hmm. then I would love to see those and use them in our next video. And yeah. if you're at Jefferson. Yeah, for Jefferson, uh, you can also email it to me. Um, you can email pictures. Uh, you can do a send me a dojo message, um, but also uh, I'll be live on the Zoom meeting uh, for, this, for our special area teachers tomorrow morning, Tuesday from 10 to 11. And if you have something done then, you wanna share it with me, you can do it during that time. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh, try to listen to some Beethoven music. I will post a link to the mm -hmm. same movement. Are you doing uh, Symphony 7 number two? Number three. <gasps> I mean, that's good, too. Well, but number two is my favorite. Yeah. But it's slower and more intense. Pick something more exciting. <laughs> okay, fine. So I will send links to both um, Symphony Number no. 7, uh, Movements 2 and 3, then. Sure. And uh, since 2 is my favorite. And then we'll discuss a little bit more about Beethoven in our next video, which mm -hmm. it's going to be huge. Get your kitchens ready because we're going to break out some kitchen materials. Yeah. So we're really excited about our next video. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Right, bye.